Now the way the brain is designed, the way it knows when it's supposed to change, is actually largely neurochemical. So I want to explain the how of therapy in terms of the neurochemistry. You can think of this as you are driving the brain to change by feeding the brain, if you will, with the chemicals the brain uses to build itself, okay? So just as you eat food, um, that gives you the energy for your body to function and the other organs to function. In the brain, we do need food. We need protein and we need glucose and we need oxygen, but that enables the cells to fire. The way the human brain is different from other organs is those neurons, those cells communicate with each other. They link up through synapses and you're seeing an illustration of a synapse here. And what a synapse is, is where the sending part of one neuron, the axon, actually releases chemicals that are absorbed by the receiving part of another neuron. And that's either the dendrite or the cell body of the second neuron that sucks up those chemicals. That creates what we call the synapse. And that chemical exchange is what then enables that second neuron to carry an electrical stimulus and release chemicals for the next neuron. So what we do in therapy, and it's very important to understand that this is what you're doing, is you're not building new neurons, you're building new connections, and you're making them faster and more efficient. So you're making the brain do its job better. That's what therapy is all about.